So, very dark man has once again managed to shift the attentions of people from what is trending to himself. Why did I say has managed? We already know what is trending. Davido's and Davido and Shama's wedding. That's one of the most beautiful, amazing wedding that has happened in the shores of Nigeria. And everybody is happy. Everybody is talking about it. People that were invited, we are happy to share how Davido invited them and how they felt going there and meeting people like Obi Kubana, Eyabojo, celebrities, top celebrities, musicians, billionaires, ex-president, ex-governors, current governors. Guys, I have to say, before I start this video, Very Dark Man was put in a position where everybody is aiming to be in a position where you meet people that have made it in life people that have succeeded in all aspects of their life the best thing to do in that midst is to network let people know your name let people see you let people know your name but what did very dark man do he did what he normally does best shift the attention to himself he went to davido's wedding he ate he didn't even wait for the wedding to finish very dark man rushed back home cleaned his uh, ring light Boom! Started talking for 13 minutes or more than 13 minutes. I've forgotten how long the video was. Started talking more than 13 minutes. Shifted the whole attention. He didn't even let the, the wedding to last one day. He shifted the whole attention to him. Reminds me of when Peter B opened uh, built a borehole in the east and the north. When Peter B built a borehole in the north, people were very happy. Wow, he's doing a good thing. What did Very Dark Man do? Very Dark Man didn't even let the news to go one day. He turned on his ring light, turned on his camera and was like, Hey, I'm also building a, a borehole. Everybody who has money in Nigeria should do the same thing. Very Dark Man, you've been there. You've been hearing about the knot and everything that has been going on. You didn't build a borehole. Immediately, Peter will built the borehole. Very Dark Man, boom, Eureka. You decided to build a borehole. So, why am I saying he has shifted the attention to himself again? Right now, we know the ongoing beef between him and Eya Borja that has been ongoing for months or years now. But this time around, Very Dark Man decided to include the likes of Obi Kubana. Guys, imagine the audacity to come and call out Obi Kubana. Obi Kubana, for crying out loud, Very Dark Man, this man has done more for the youths of Nigeria than you. I have to say this. I'm not a big fan of Obi Kubana or a very big fan of Very Dark Man. I'm just saying this from my own point of view. And if you feel like what I'm about to say in this video is not the truth, let me know down below. Comment your thoughts. And also, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe if this is your first time coming across my channel. And uh, I welcome you to today's video. My name is Shux. And this is Powerhouse of Positive Talk. You know what we do here? We come here, we get a trending topic, and I share my own opinion. So in this video, I'm going to share my own opinion on the ongoing feud between Very Dark Man, Eya Bojo, and Obi Kubana. Guys, before I start, take a listen to this 3 minutes video by a Very Dark Man where he called out Obi Kubana. The truth is, if he touch Moscow, he go touch New York. If Biden send bomb go Moscow, Putin go send bomb go New York, everybody go collect. That is why I say, if you touch Moscow, it go touch New York. Now they say, eh, eh, stop enabling all these young boys and elders, blah, 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 talk. The blog should stop posting, blah, 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 from who to who. The only reason why you people are angry, it is because, yes, this is the only person that can scatter a lot of evil things in you people's face. Eh? The youth, they cry since they never hear your voice before for one day when it comes to one important thing. Now, to they carry money, they spray up and down. They use it until they buy people conscience. The youth are looking for employment in Nigeria. You, they carry alcohol, come Nigeria, come drop for them. Hey, we don't have a job, we you take alcohol and drink. We don't have a job, we you take this one and drink. Ah, you don't like this bitters, drink it. <laughs> eh? We don't worship money, my brother, man. As soon as I want the chukuna mouth, so it's no consign. Now, nah, here we do. We balance for this ground. Have you gone to the north? Eh? You think you have money? Because you got to kill northern states. Because you can get to the Masu Ariwa. Muta need the sooner they could eat. Baswa in cho 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 cho. Eh? That Ariwa. Bro. They don't do chow chow chow. Those are the men with the guard as men that have money. This is about all this social media bull crap. It's, it is because the youths don't have their priority streets. If not, the people that they see at the top, they cannot see all these ones from my front. You know how I see them? I just see them as singular people. Eh? 
Nigerian youth, I, do, I never see you do like this shit for my life. You are protecting rich people that their money will never get to you. Their money no fee ever touch your hand. Can never touch your hand. There's a certain uh, Igbo man inside prison for how many months now? You don't enter one year, be two years. You don't do prison. They never hear your voice before. <laughs> They have not heard your voice. Oh, very dark man talk. Everybody, they give their opinion. Oh, blogs are posted him. This one is doing this. Eh? Go to the doors. Bro, you get, you get fans, I get fans. You understand? You get your own people where I get my own people. You get money, I no get, but I get my mouth. Don't put my borrow over. Do you understand? I stay in the north. We don't worship money in the north. We respect the people's personality in the north. We don't do all those. Uh, this one get money. I'm, I'm, most of these people they invest and all they follow them for Instagram. Bro. I swear to God, because I don't worship them. They need you to worship. I don't worship you. Do you pay my bills? Do you pay my bills? See the blogs you're not posting. Do the blogs pay my bills? Do the blogs pay my bills? Do the blogs pay my bills? Eh? Do the blocks pay my bills? The blocks pay my bills. Nigga, go and sit your ass down. Go and meet your young boy so that they carry you as godfathers. I don't know you people from nowhere. <laughs> you never, never, never. This is one on our business. Do you understand? If you want to put your mouth for this matter, you go collect. The whip go touch you. You go and learn. Don't play. So I take it you've got the context of what I'm talking about where Very Dark Man has called out Obi Kubana for not empowering the youth. Yes, that Obi Kubana buys the soul of the youth by spraying money and giving them money. First and foremost, and also the alcohol that he brought to Nigeria. All I have to say is first and foremost, Obi Kubana has done more for the youths of Nigeria and for the youths of Oba. Let's take Very Dark Man's with all the empire he has built online and everything he has achieved. Let's take his name to his hometown and then take Obi Kubana's name to his hometown of Oba and see, let's compare and contrast on these two people who has done more for their community. Now, let's come to Nigeria as a whole. Irrespective of what Very Dark Man stands for, sometimes I go with his views on things, but sometimes there are some things that he will say and I'll take a little bit step back and be like, nah, 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 you are not doing, you are not doing the right thing. And uh, this whole beef with Obi Kubana is one of the issues. One of the things Very Dark Man pointed out is how Obi Kubana is buying the souls of Nigeria by spraying money on everywhere he goes and uh, dashing people money, sharing palliative. Let's call it a sharing palliative. Whereas he has the uh, power, he has the opportunity, he has the asset to change the lives of youth and the lives of Nigeria. One thing I have to ask is, what do you think Obi Kubana should do for very dark man to satisfy him as the helper of the youth? And this question is for very dark man. If you are going to say, uh, if you are going to see this, who made you the spokesperson of Nigerian youth? That's my question. Who made you the spokesperson of Nigerian youth? With the Nigerian youth, we see what Obi Kubana is doing. We are happy with it. Me personally, I'm happy with it. The drink that you said he brought to Nigeria. Very dark man, Guinness and all foreign alcohol has been in Nigeria for years. Very dark man, you didn't call it out, you didn't call anybody out. Before Guinness left, they've been serving Nigerian youth, Nigerian fathers, Nigerian mothers, beer. Very dark man, you didn't call them out. But Obi Kubana decided, you know what, since it's a lucrative business, why not I start my own? He decided, okay, he started his own in Nigeria. Odogu Bitas is produced in Nigeria. Who do you think produces it? Nigerian youth who he gave job opportunities. Obi Kubana has clubs all over Nigeria. Who do you think works there? Nigerian youth. Obi Kubana celebrate. Obi Kubana has given the youths of Oba scholarship. Obi Kubana have invested more money in the business of youth in Oba more than very dark man could ever imagine so why is very dark man calling out obi kubana for not investing in the youth the second thing he pointed out was that of nam the and uh, how obi kubana has never said anything concerning uh, nam the rotting in jail or anything that has to do with uh event happening in nigeria that obi kubana is always silent why is he not using his uh what's this word 
Why is he not using why is he not using his influence? Why is he not using his influence to talk about what is going on in Nigeria? And I have to say again, I always say that. I have to say, Obi Kubana is one person. Yes, he has influence, but all the Igbo governors, especially Solu, that of Anambra State, have been calling on Nigerian President Tinubu to let Namji Kanu go. Prophet Ebukobi, whose ministry is in Lagos State, every now and then, Prophet Ebukobi will always say, let Namji Kanu go. So, Prophet Ebukobi, with all the influence he has in Nigeria, and all the politicians that come to his ministry, with governor of Anambra State, with all the influence he has in Anambra State and Nigeria, has called for Namdi Kanu's release, but nothing happened. It's little Obi Kubana with his investment that will go and challenge the Nigerian government. It was possible that said, after God, fear the Nigerian government. Yes. Obi Kubana might not be shedding light in uh, things happening in Nigeria, but he is a businessman for crying out loud. Every businessman, their, their main goal is to make profit. Their main goal is to make profit. So if Obi Kubana sees what will harm his business, as an intelligent businessman, the very first thing to do is move aside and let that pass. Not everything that is trending must you shed light when you are an intelligent businessman the second thing very dark man pointed out is how obi kubana is wasting his money spraying it why not give it to the youth now i always have this thing to say when someone anywhere i'm having an argument and someone is pointing out how rich people spend their money how billionaires millionaires spend their money i always say this when these people were having sleepless night working on themselves working on that dream trying to achieve their goals nobody called them out nobody gave them help nobody said oh do this do this do this no they worked day by day labor after labor trying to build their empire now that the empire is done they are now sitting back reaping what they sow now a nobody from adam will wake up one morning and be like, no, why are you buying an expensive watch? You should have given to the poor. I'm sorry to say this for my Christian brothers. Even Jesus himself, one man washed his feet with the most expensive oil. And people uh, started criticizing him. Oh, you said you are for the poor. Why, why did you let men wash your feet with the most expensive oil instead of giving it to the poor? In reply, Jesus said, even the poor you will always have with you. So how much money should Obi Kubana waste? Where even Jesus Christ said, the poor you will always have with you. Second thing I have to say is, this is his money. He labored for it. He worked hard for it. He has made it. So if he decided to give the youths of Oba, it's his money. If he decided to save his money, it is money. Nobody on earth is entitled to tell Obi Kubana how he will spend his money. Guys, I will just be dropping my voice here. And uh, I would like to hear what you think about this ongoing beef between Very Dark Man, Obi Kubana, and uh, Eya Bojo. I know I didn't touch on the Eya Bojo's matter because it's an old story. And uh, almost every blog has talked about it. But this new beef between Obi Kubana and uh, Very Dark Man is what I think I should talk about. I feel like I have an opinion to say. Let me just air it out to my followers and uh, people that will be watching this video for the first time. Let me know what you think. Do you think that this ongoing beef has tarnished Very Dark Man's image? Remember, David is a very good friend of Very Dark Man. Yes. When he was having his legal battles, Davido was one of the people campaigning for him to be out. Davido invited him to his wedding. Very Dark Man went to the wedding and decided to start beefing rich men that were also invited. So, do you think that anybody who is friends with Very Dark Man will also make the same mistake that Davido made to invite Very Dark Man to any occasion that they are doing? Remember, he didn't wait for the wedding to end. He ran back turned on his ring light and gave us gist. In as much as I appreciate the gist because it made me glue to my screen to watch to hear what happened during the whole wedding. But calling people out instead of going there and networking is a foul play from very dark man from very dark man's side. But uh, it is what it is. I'll just drop my voice here and uh, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Remember to give this video a like, 
subscribe if this is your first time coming across my channel share to your friends let's all come together and discuss about this i'll see you guys next time on the next video have a blessed day bye bye